Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is in continuation to the AWS series that I'm creating. In this video, I will talk about EC2 instance. I'll just give a brief background on what EC2 instance is, but then I really want to show you how you create EC2 instance. What are different options that you see when you're trying to create EC2 instance. And before starting, let me introduce myself. I'm Sushil. I'm a certified cloud and DevOps expert. I have more than a decade of industry experience and I helped organizations implement their cloud, their on-premises, their virtual, their DevOps architecture. And I'm passionate about fitness and technology and I share my knowledge using the techguide.in. Now, before starting, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I request you to subscribe because in this channel, I talk about almost everything related to the latest technological trend. Right now I'm trying to create or cover topics about AWS, Azure and GCP, but then I'm also trying to talk about machine learning, AI, chat GPT, etc. Let's jump back on the video. Now this is again more like a lab, but before starting the lab, I want to give you background or, or I just want to talk about EC2 instance, what really is EC2 instance. If somebody who is watching this video has not heard of EC2 instance or has never worked on EC2 instance. Now EC2 instance is basically if we if we if we want to call the full form it's basically Elastic Compute Cloud. The name suggests it's the compute service in AWS. It is a web service that provides a compute capacity in cloud and it is basically the virtual machine service provided in, in AWS. You can create a compute service, you can create your virtual machine now you can depending on what kind of high availability option you choose but you can you can actually have the scale capacity with min, minutes of SLA uh, commitment that can be four times nine 99.99 percent now it provides secure compute for your application because you can really manage your security with the help of network with the help of acls with the help of security groups etc now, if you are someone who has worked on AWS or who has worked on Azure or GCP, in, in Azure, we call it virtual machines. In AWS, you call it EC2 instance. In Google, you call it Google Compute Engine. So basically, it's just a virtual machine service in, in AWS. Now, when you talk about EC2 instance, there are a few key terms that you should know. First is instance type, as the name suggests like any other cloud service or any other cloud for that matter you have always a size that is available you have different sizes which means you, uh, different instance types will provide you different hardware now depending on your requirement you can choose an instance type and then you can create an instance in aws account and then you have ami amazon machine image which means what is the what is i mean it it's a it is a an image with packaged software and libraries now there are predefined amis and you can create your custom ami also uh, there are there are and and there there will be vendors who have created their amis and who are selling it on 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 aws so basically ami really defines what service or or what what machine you want to create on aws security group is is a firewall security group is attached to the ec2 instance it is it is an ec2 instance scope um, resource so security group is a firewall that allows or denies a particular network and then you have key pairs in linux now key pair using key pair it's it's basically ssh key pairs which allows there is private and public key and and using key pairs you can access or you can log in your ec2 instance let me take you to my AWS account. Take you to my AWS account. Now this is my AWS account. Now if you if you don't know how to go to a, a EC2 instance, you can click on services. And if you have, if you see it here, which means if you have recently visited, or you can go to compute and in compute we see EC2 instance. Or you can also click on search and I can type EC2. Now EC2, if the name, there's the name, it's it's basically virtual server in cloud. I go to EC2. I'm 
and currently I do not have any instance running I can click on launch in launch instance from here I can go to instance running this displayed and I can click on launch launch instance here also so I can click here or I can go to EC2 dashboard and I can click here depends now we click on launch instance I define my instance name let me name it okay this is the name that i want to choose this is the ami that i was talking about amazon machine image there are there are a bunch of ec2 sorry ami is available which means which uh, which means the machine that we want to create now i'll i'll use the default which is free tier available amazon linux 2023 ami then you have an instance type which i told you there are a lot of instance types available depending on for example d2 nano has one vcpu and 0.5 gig memory d2 micro has one vcpu and one gig memory and i can go to go for large also depending on the requirement for example i have 2x large which has eight vcpus and 32 gigs memory it, it entirely depends on what application we want we will be using what is what is my requirement etc since this is a lab i'll i'll again go for t2 micro which is also free tier eligible so i'll go with key t2 micro then i told you key pair now key pair really defines uh, defines what i mean how i'm going to log in i can create create a new pair or if i have an existing one i can use an existing wall for now i just I'll just use um, proceed without a key pair obviously this is not recommended but because we are bypassing the login and anybody can log in if, if they have access with respect to the network or etc and then we have security group which i told you now security group really defines what and and how we want to enable the network let me I, I do not have an existing security group or I have put it now an AWS account will always have a default security group which will be created but let me create a new security group and let me allow SSH traffic from anywhere and I, I also want to allow HTTP traffic which is port 80 from everywhere I'll show you why because I'm running an, uh, a script and I want to show you something but you can really restrict which network you want to allow or which you do not want to allow so let me allow http http is basically port 80 https is port 443 i want to allow http traffic on this vm i'll go with storage gp3 you have different storage types io1 io2 gp2 gp3 and sd1 which is hdd i'll go with the standard gp3 now i can go to advanced settings where I have different types I have spot instance which is really cheap but but doesn't guarantee that your machine will be up and you you define your spot price and then it, it's it's sort of a bidding thing which I'll probably explain sometime later but I'll not choose this then let me ignore all this I want to go to user data now what I've created I've created a script let me show you the script that I've created. Let me show you the script that I've created. So what I'm doing, I am installing a web server. I'm installing a git. And if you don't know this 169.254, 169.254, this is a magic cloud IP and it is not specific to AWS. If you have worked on Azure also, you'll, you would be familiar with this IP. This IP basically uh, runs, I mean, you can use this IP to fetch the local machine details, etc. I mean, if you block this IP, this IP will, will actually cause, cause a lot of issues. So what I'm doing, I'm exporting the the instance ID, instance type, and the instance availability zone. And then I am creating an index.html. And what I'm doing is I am I'm creating 
these values in my index.html. It's a simple script which I run here. Now that reminds me of the network. The network is something that I wanted to show you. Now in the network, I'm choosing a default VPC which is already created, but I can I can click on I can I can uh, basically attach a new VPC also. subnet and I have multiple subnets let me choose this subnet okay and auto assign public IP I can choose I can I can decide whether I want to have public IP assigned auto enabled or not which I'll do it why I'm doing is because you see so now a subnet so basically VPC and subnet I'll talk about in, in next video but a subnet is basically associated with the availability zone now the script is doing the script is actually getting the availability zone from the subnet okay and then I click on launch instance I hope this works let's give it a minute it will take a little bit of time. Now, if you see, this is the instance which is initializing. Give it a minute. You see, my machine is now actually running, but it is initializing. Now, while this initializes, let me show you a few things. This is the instance. Now you can check your IP details from here. This is my public IP and this is my private IP. And if I want to change anything on the machine, I can click on actions. I can view details. I can connect. I can image create. I can create. So I told you we can create custom image. So I can click. I can create an image from this, etc. Let's give it a minute. Let it initialize. My instance is up and running now and you see the status is running. The status check has passed and this is my public IP which I can copy and I do this. I'm facing issue with the access on my account. This account I do not have a lot of permissions and I cannot change it because of the IAM which I'll probably talk about in next uh, in any other video what IAM is and, and etc. But the whole funda is that I've created an EC2 instance. I installed a web server using the user data and I created a web page which I which is trying to basically get the instance ID, etc. I'm not really able to do it because I have an access permission. My account, the, the, the account which I'm logged in, doesn't have a specific permission, which I do not have. I tried to create a policy and, and my account doesn't really have an have a permission to do it so i cannot really show you what i was trying to actually show you here but but you get the gist of it what i was trying to do i hope this video helped in this video i talked about the ec2 instance how you can create ec2 instance i told you how you can use user data to install a specific settings on a machine and now you can actually you know you can actually use user data to do something and then eventually convert it to a image and create your custom image using it so you can do a lot of things using these things i hope this video helped and if there is something else that you want me to cover please feel free to note down in the comment section and i will get back on that thank you have a good day bye